The New York Knicks haven't made the playoffs since 2013. So we are hoping to break that streak in almost 10 year drought today and make the playoffs in 2022. So what's going on everybody? How is everybody doing today? Welcome back here today to another episode of the New York Knicks My Jam series here on NBA 2K21. I know a lot of you might be asking about my career and that's going to come back tomorrow. So don't worry about that. But I was just itching to get to this video because I want to see playoff basketball in New York. I talked a lot with Otis Newman. His trust is up. His mood's up. Same with Lewis Fletcher. I was hoping maybe getting his trust up would allow me to import custom draft classes. That was not the case. And we have our trainers mood and trust up as well. So you can see we are 35 and 25, which means we have 22 games left here in the regular season. Taking a look at the playoff picture, we stand as the sixth seed in the Eastern Conference, but we're only a game up of the ninth seed and only a game and a half up of the 10th seed. So we can easily fall out of the playoff picture and we're still without our starting point guard, Wendell Warren, for at least the next two weeks, but mainly four weeks until he's like fully healthy again, which you go four weeks from today, it brings us to May, which means he's only gonna get about six fully healthy games this season left so we can just get into this we will probably play a game i don't know against two though but we don't not want to make the playoffs because i feel like we could get fired i don't know i don't want to say it but i just don't want it to happen but we can now finally call plays because our trust is up with our coach here is the uh, lineup for at least right now until window warren comes back we do have a 10-man rotation we're not going to be playing tht at all but i will send him to the g league actually so is he free agent at the end of the no doesn't even matter anyway all right so let's end this week we pick up a win against Atlanta and LA, but we lost to Brooklyn. But hey, if we're going two for every one or winning two games per, per every three, you know what? I will take that. We do have a weekly press conference with Nathan Melbourne. I'm guessing he had THG his campaign openly for more minutes. Is that something you're going to accommodate? I'm going to say no comment. Uh, yeah, you know what? He's good as gone at the end of the year, so I can't really, I don't care that much. So Philip Turner wants us to keep up the winning streak. I'm going to promise to complete it. I mean, what else am I going to say? Uh, I forgot either to praise or critique or mock the assistant GM. I'm going to praise him and... Yeah, that did not, not work out. I forgot. I cannot praise my assistant GM. For some reason, he just doesn't like it. So we're 38 and 26. Let's see if we moved up at all in the playoff picture. We're now the four seed. That's how close the four and the 10 seeds are in the Eastern Conference. Nine and a half games back, six and a half, three games put us and the 10th seeded Raptors apart. That's kind of crazy. But yeah, we can now design arena, design uniform, team branding. Oh, I've lost player mentorship. What happened to the trust with my trainer, man? What happened? It went down? Like, I wonder when I can't use it now, does it still keep the prior player mentorships that I set still up and still active? I hope so. Let's see. I'm going to talk to him a little bit more. We have his trust up pretty high now, 87 and a mood 100. And we do have player mentorship back. I, I can't tell. Is Yeah, RJ is getting mentored by Matt Thomas, so it's still up. All right. But you can see we're 23 and 8 at home this year. We are 6 and 4 in our last 10, 15 and 8 on the road. We're shooting 34% from three as a team. I feel like that's not too bad. But if you look at league three point percentage, the Hawks as a team are shooting 40%. Okay, so maybe, yeah, 34% actually isn't pretty good. Oh my God, never mind. It's second worst in the NBA. Damn, I was way off on that. You can also see the lottery odds here, and you can see the Hornets are really bad. Same with the Warriors. Unfortunately, yeah, this isn't like a real draft class. So our top pick could be at 15. I don't know why it says we would have 15 when we're supposed to make the playoffs. So yeah, that doesn't really make a lot of sense to me. But here were the top uh, prospects. You guys know about Tony Yukich and then Ethan Sims, who's 23 years old. Yeah, I would just stay away from him. Eddie Spencer, another center. Kenneth Owens, Homer Adams, Rod Cardi. Big center class here, as you can see. Three centers in the top seven. Uh, Randy Nance, Ruben Wark, Louis Walker, Lorenz. Kersey, Alonzo Towns, and Bruno Radha wraps up the top 12. But yeah, let's end the week again. We pick up a win against Miami, Sacramento, and Washington, which means we kept the winning streak alive. I don't know why the trust and all that goes down. Like when I don't even do anything, it kind of sucks that you have to kind of keep uh, on top of that every day. So uh, Nathan Melbourne asks, how long do you think you can keep this winning streak going? I'm going to say a long time. Who knows? I'll just say a long time. Uh, I'll just say that. It got everyone's trust up, the players, the staff, the owner. That's what we want to see. See, I don't know why it edits my rotation like this. Like Mitchell Robinson should be the starter, uh, starting center. Oh, like THC does not need minutes. That's what's like annoying about this game mode is like it changes up my rotations. Like I don't want to see like as much as I like Luke Bishop, or it'd be cool to play THT. No, we need Norman Powell to be our sixth man. Luke Bishop as our seventh man. Nicole Melly, sure. We won't play Matt Thomas. We'll just give a Kogi those minutes. I met a Koji. I don't know why I said his name like that. And we'll just give the rest to RJ and uh, Kelly Oubre there. Yeah, we'll do something like that. But we still need Wendell Warren back. I hate that it changes that up. But yeah, we are currently 41 and 26. So it's looking like 
We're not going to get fired. We're going to make the playoffs as we are 41 in 26. We are the fourth seed. We are uh, with 15 games left. We're six and a half games back on the one seed and the Magic are 12 and a half. Okay. And then, yeah, we're like... We're like four games up here in the playoffs, which isn't bad. I don't really like any of the games. This, uh, I mean, I guess we could have played against Milwaukee, but now I don't even know if uh, Giannis is there. So we kept the winning streak alive. Test failed. Okay, whatever. All right, I'm going to promise to complete that our fan interest won't dip. And then we have a new task from Beats. I actually am going to be intrigued to see what this is. I'm just going to promise to complete our winning streak. I guess he cares about the winning streak. All right. All right. So I think it would be cool to play the Boston Celtics today as they are the team that is one spot ahead of us in the Eastern Conference. They do have, this is their team. Basically, they're starting Taco Fall and look who was their sixth man. It's kind of funny. Marco Fultz. So they have Fultz and Tatum. They have Jacob Bledsoe, who was shifted 26th overall. Uh, he's been not too good in his rookie year. And then they have Vlado Gurovic, uh, who hasn't been that good either. So yeah, I think we're going to play the... Uh, we're going to play the uh, Boston Celtics today. And I think finally we'll be able to make plays and have substitutions. So it's looking like we are going to get playoff basketball in New York. Now, I don't know if we're going to go through any of the playoff games today. We might pop in the first one. Who knows? Like just game one of round one, something like that. As RJ's going to hit that mid-range jumper as he's going to miss that. But Mitchell Robinson gets the dunk. Yeah, wait. I could have some like run plays now. Why don't I just run something? But yeah, you guys got to let me know. Like, do you want to see just one series in episode or do you want to see like the whole playoffs in an episode? You guys got to let me know that. Uh, down below, please. All right, running a three-point play for Kelly Oubre here. and eh, didn't get a good look. That's RJ Barrett, who's wide open, but that was good defense there by Jason Tatum. Oh, give me that. Oh, my God. That was actually a really nice steal there by Ty Jerome. You can see I am repping RJ Barrett for the video because I'm just too hyped to see the Knicks back in the playoffs because, yeah, this is the only time we might see the Knicks in the playoffs in any place for a long time. Eh, who knows? The Knicks could be a playoff team in like 2022, but you know what I mean. So let's see what they're calling up for us here. Uh, we'll see. Uh, they want me to give it to AD in the post. You know what? I'm down for just an AD post up here on Ty Jerome. Out to Kelly Oubre. Kick that to RJ Barrett. RJ Barrett for three. Come on. That was great ball movement. RJ, you got to finish. Marcus Smart driving. Oh, but he kicks it to Taco Fall. He misses that, luckily. So let's kick it up to RJ Barrett. We're not going to run a play. We're just going to drive. RJ get around Marcus Smart. He does, and he is going to get blocked. Was that by Jalen Brown? Damn, maybe I should have passed that to Kelly. Marco Fultz for three, and yeah, we are down by seven. Oh, this is the competition we're going to be facing in the playoffs. Yeah, we're, we're without our starting point guard, but still. Kick that to 80, guarded by Jason Tatum. Come on, 80, what are you doing here? Uh, kick that out to Ty Jerome. Ty Jerome for three, come on. This is what we kind of need. Like, we need players. Come on, 80, you got to get that to go. But we need players that can hit threes because 80 is going to get double teamed all the time in the post. So if you remember, like the 2009 Orlando Magic, they would kind of have the often centered around uh, Dwight Howard and then just have shooters around Dwight as what am I trying to do against Taco Fall? I have no idea, but AD is guarded by Fult or Fultz. We'll kick that to RJ Barrett. Can't kick his releases down. Okay, that was a mess. But like I was saying, you remember, like, they would kick it to Dwight in the post. He would obviously have his one-on-one. -on -one. If he had it, he would go to the rim. But if he got double teamed, he would kick it out to a Rashard Lewis, a Hito Turkoglu, uh, Ryan Anderson, a Jameer Nelson. That's kind of what we need on this team. I think we can develop RJ to be a good enough three-point shooter. I think we can as well with Wendell Warren. Don't know if Kelly Oubre is the guy, like I said in a couple episodes ago. We we're going to need a second start. I think that player has to be able to shoot threes. And then we can have some really good mismatch lineups and run, like, I don't know, a stretch four with 80 at the five. And then we surround 80 with five shooters. I think that would just be amazing as 80. Get that M1. There we go. We needed that. Wait, I'm really confused. We have Wendell Warren back? Okay. I don't even know why... THT's in the game, but yeah, I just hopped in here. Uh, Luke Bishop with the screen. Uh, Wendell Warren. We actually have a nickname for Wendell Warren as he gets blocked there. Because I said the flash, but I don't want to give him the flash because of Dwayne Wade. So, we're going to call him Quicksilver. Yeah, because he's so quick, and obviously I kind of want to do a superhero. Look at him. He's just getting right around Robert Williams, getting straight to the line. The man has got to be one of the fastest players in the league right now, as he's going to knock down the first free throw. Welcome back, Wendell. And he's going to go two for two at the line. you love to see it. So, we do have Josh Okogie in, who I think this will be his last year as a Nick, he really never developed on offense too much, which you really don't want to see. And yeah, he's still a good defender, but unless he can't knock down like a shot, there's no point to have him on the team as AD is going to go, I think, right at their guy here. I'll kick that to Norman and Norman Powell is going to get that to go. Good pass there by AD. All right, we have a three-point play here for Josh Okogi. Yeah, I'm not shooting that. Am I supposed to get a screen here from Norman Powell? What's going on? All right, we have seven on the shot clock. AD, catch the, catch the ball. AD pull it for three. Not a good release. Oh, man, that was not a good possession whatsoever. Gorovich driving. No way he's going to knock that down. Luke Bishop with the rebound. Up to Josh Okogi. All right, Okogi get right by Kemba Walker. Come on, hit that. There we go. And one for Josh Okogi. That was definitely a weak foul call by the ref there on Kemba Walker. Can Akogi complete the three-point play? Yes, he can. 
Luke Bishop with the nasty rejection right there. And he's going to get another block. Oh, my God. We, yes, we finally get the ball kicked that up to Wendell. Please don't turn it over. There we go. Ali oop this to Josh Akoki. Whoa, whoa. What is going on here? I did not want that. But we're going to pull for three with Wendell Warren. Why not? Nah, no. Nah. All right, we actually took the lead here with six minutes to go left in the second quarter. Wendell Warren getting right by Markel Fultz. But he's going to have to work on his finishing. That might be a training camp. We're going to want to send Wendell to in the offseason. As Marcus Smart gets a good look for three, that is no good we do have luke bishop and mitchell robinson on the floor together uh rj kicked that to wendell warren he should get that to go but no he gets stuffed by grant all right but we do have a size mismatch here with luke bishop on grant williams and yeah he's gonna get an easy and one there all right we got a play here for rj bear coming off the screen oh, i should have passed that back to wendell as he was moving damn all right we got mitchell robinson sending rj bear to screen but rj was really slow around that screen so we got mitchell robinson is gonna get a good look but he gets stuffed kick that out to rj bear rj for three come on that's gotta go in rj no mitch can't get the rebound there Man, I feel like I'm showing more misses than makes. All right, Wendell, can we get a bucket here? Norman Powell, you know you can go out to the three-point line. Oh, my God, okay. Luke Bishop with the screen. Luke Bishop guarded by Grant Williams. Yeah, that's going to be... Oh, I thought he was really going to get that to go. Or at least an and one. He's got the quickest release ever as he gets that one to go. He's actually not a bad free throw shooter. He just got the quickest release ever. Oh, Wendell Warren with the steal. Let's go. And he's going to get the layup there. We are back up by seven. But yeah, Wendell Warren's first game back for us. Not doing too well. I don't know why Taco is handling the ball right now at the point. Uh, but Marcus Smart is going to get... Oh, I thought that was going to be a block by Mitchell Robinson. As Norman Powell picks up his fourth foul. Yeah, he's got to get out of the game. All right, I'm going to try this rotation after RJ Bear comes out. We're going to have 80 at the 5. But we're going to surround him with Ty Jerome, Nicolo Melli. I mean, this is not a good defensive lineup, but a good shoot. Uh, Matt Thomas. I don't know if I said Kelly Oubre. But yeah, we are going to surround AD with shooters. As we're just going to give AD the ball. What the hell? That almost went in. But AD go up there. Man, Taco Fall is just too big. See, AD is so athletic. We can also kind of help Jason Tate... Or or uh, G with Jason Tatum there and Marcus Smart driving. I don't know why I always jump so early as no way that's... Damn. All right, so I, before I run a play here, I want to do this. I want to get the ball to 80 in the post. Yeah, he's surrounded by someone that is a lot taller than him, but we kick it out to Kelly Oubre for three. You're going to have to knock down these threes, Kelly Oubre. How is Taco? Oh, he's taking over. Oh, AD with the steal on Taco Fall. There we go. I meant to throw that up to Matt Thomas. Kelly Oubre kicked this to Matt Thomas in the corner. Thomas with a quick release. He's got to hit that. Damn. All right, we're running floppy for Matt Thomas. This is kind of why he's here. Matt Thomas, bang, bang, bang. He actually might be useful in the playoffs. I feel like I got to give him minutes. And I'm not going to say he's more valuable than Josh Okogie, but he just might be in a seven-game series. Marcus Smart is going to get rejected by Nicole Melli there. All right, we do have 80 guarded by Jason Tatum. We're going to kick this out to Kelly Oubre. Another three-point attempt for Kelly Oubre. I just got to stop. He can't hit these, but can RJ... Oh, no, don't shoot that, RJ. Okay, kick that to Kelly Oubre. Uh, he's not going to be able to get inside. Kick that right to AD. And AD, can you get a move over Tatum? I was going to say too easy, but he misses the close shot. As Tatum is now driving, and he's going to throw it down. Uh, it's a six-point game. All right, AD guarded by Tatum. AD! What is that shot? He gets it up and he gets at least fouled by Taco. Taco's a problem, man, in this game. AD's first free throw is up and it is good. Let's see if he can knock down numero dos. And he goes two for two. He's got 24 points here in the third quarter. We got to get AD just a little bit of help, I think. Man, I love Mitchell Robinson so much, and I especially really like him next to Anthony Davis, but I'm just worried, like, he's going to ask for 30-something mil in free agency, and I'm just not going to want to pay that. As RJ get right by Fultz, go to the rim, and he gets that late to go. He's only got three points, not the finest night for RJ Barrett. And, like, do we also want to pay Mitchell Robinson all that money? I know I'm getting ahead of myself, but when we have Luke Bishop right behind him, that's why a lot of you guys are like, why would you trade Mitchell Robinson? But that's the exact reason, as they're double-teaming AD. AD, pass the ball, please. Oh my god, okay, kick that to Wendell Warren, back to AD, they're gonna double team, right? Alright, Wendell Warren, this is you, oh my god, I can't even get anything to go. Alright, AD on Jalen Brown though, yeah, this is gonna be money, this is gonna be money, no way, yeah, no way he was gonna miss that, he's got 26. Alright, Kelly Oubre on a one-on-one -on -one here with Jalen Brown, can we do a spin move? I didn't really have to do the spin move, but he gets that to go, Kelly only has four points tonight. Tatum driving, but Mitchell Robinson with the great contest, I mean, like, I'm gonna miss that, I can't let that go, as RJ's gonna kick that to Anthony Davis, and AD throws it down, he's got 28. Alright, fast forward here to the final five minutes of the game, we are up by two on um, over Boston here as Wendell Warren is going to pull up. I don't know why he double clutched that. And if he can't even hit that mid range, oh, man, do I send him perimeter shooting, finishing? We need to help on him as Smart can take the lead for the Celtics. 
Damn, we're down by one. I feel like the guy I can rely on the most is AD. Like, kick it out to Wendell Warren, but do I really want to shoot that three? Now get it right back to AD. They're going to double team. Can we get better spacing than this? Kelly Oubre, that is just not good spacing. But thankfully, he hits that mid-range jumper. AD on Tatum once again. Kick that to Mitchell Robinson, but it's not like Mitchell Robinson can hit a jumper, but he can for sure dunk the ball. He's got 15 and 14 tonight. All right, Wendell Warren getting right around Markel Fultz, but he can't finish. Dude, Taco Fall is just too big. He He's so much taller than Mitchell Robinson, and Mitchell Robinson is a giant. So, take that to RJ. Come on, pass the ball. Oh, my God. All right, AD, please win this tip over Tatum, and don't tip it to Marcus Smart, please. Come on, AD, win this tip, and he gets it right to Taco Fall. Nice. Jason Tatum for three. Oh, man, we're down by six. All right, kick this to RJ Barrett. RJ for three. Please knock this out. Let's go, RJ. Huge shot there. He's got 14 points. It's a three-point game. Jaron Brown pulls up, and he gets that tough jumper to go. Damn, back up to a five-point lead for Boston. But Wendell Ward is so quick. Please don't get blocked by Taco Fall. Let's go and one. Wendell Ward, and that's a huge bucket. He can bring it within two if he completes the three-point play. And, of course, he doesn't. And Marcus Smart hits a three. Oh, it's a six-point lead for them. This is no bueno. Are they going to double-team? They are. Kick that out to RJ. Bear, pass the ball. Oh, my God. Please pass the ball. Swing that to RJ. RJ, another big three, please. Can we get it out of you? No, it's in and out, and that's probably game if they score on this possession. I mean, Smart is driving. He kicks it out to Jalen Brown, and all right, we still might be alive here. RJ going right at Fultz, and he's going to the line. First free throw for RJ is up, and it is good. Wow, perfect release for RJ at the line. You don't see that too often. And he goes two for two. I'll take it. Jason Tatum dropping, but he's blocked by Anthony Davis. Let's go. Kick it up to Kelly Oubre. Let's, let's push it. Let's push it. Uh, Luke Bishop going to drive or AD. AD mm, guarded by Tatum inside. We should just get this to go. AD, just go right at him. Just go right at him. AD, this is the turnaround hook shot. Ah, <sighs> big sigh. As Jalen Brown gets that dunk as I was asleep, I'm great. All right, I think we're running floppy for Anthony Davis. I don't really know why with AD. As he hits the three, okay. All right, we need to stop here as Tatum is so freaking good. All right, we are going to put Matt Thomas here at the three or at the shooting guard position, but for some reason, he's not showing up. All right, there we go. So yeah, we're going to run an inbound three-point play for Matt Thomas and hope it works out. As he's actually going to get a solid look. Just kidding, not great, but he might hit that. No, that is no good. Out to Matt Thomas again. We're just going to have to shoot it. I mean, we're just going to have to keep shooting it. As he misses that one as well, screw it again. I couldn't even see the bar there. <laughs> All right, we lost. AD was phenomenal in this game, man. He went 14 for 15 at the line. Luke Bishop was really good as well. 17, 9, and 2 blocks in 22 minutes. As you can look at his per 36, he would be averaging 20 and 10. That's kind of absurd. All right, so that is going to be the last game played of the regular season. We are going to be finishing up uh, the season here. We have what? Four? We have nine games left. All right, so... Yeah, we'll be finishing up the regular season, what's uh, similar to the end of this week. We pick up a win against the Lakers. We can end this week here as we are currently 19 games over 500. Uh, we don't have a weekly press conference here. We do have a meeting with the CFO, and I feel like he does not like to be complimented. Let's mock him. Uh... <laughs> Did not work out. All right, I believe this is the second to last week, or this might be the final week, as we are going to have a weekly meeting with our head coach. Yeah, we have one game left. We are 49 and 32. I'm pretty sure we will be a playoff team, as we did clinch. Most likely the four seed, unless we lose and the Hawks win, and then maybe we'll drop to the five. Either way, we're probably facing the Hawks in round one. We're still number two in the GM power rankings. I mean, I'll take that. And let's finish up the regular season as we end up as the four seed. Hey! That's a success. We did rank up to a level 17, so let's unlock. Chit chat with sponsors. I don't know if I had that before, before I reset it, but yeah, we just unlocked that. Luca is your MVP. We also end the season with 100% fan interest and 70% teammate chemistry. Uh, like I said, Luca averaged a triple double. He's your MVP. Cole Bradley's your rookie of the year. He went second overall. He was the point guard out of the Pacific, Pacific College, Pacific University. Not too familiar with that school. Uh, he is 22 years old, so he's a little bit older, but hey, he's really freaking good. I would have loved to have him on my team. Brandon Clark is your sixth man of the year in Memphis, only 25 years old. Still, Giannis is your defensive player of the year in Dallas with Luka and KP. Naw is your most improved player in Nashville with LeBron and Mo Bamba. And Rick Carlisle is your coach of the year. All in the first team, you have Luka, Kyrie, Giannis, Kawhi and Jokic. So two Mavericks there. On the second team, you got MB, Tatum, AD, let's go. Uh, D'Lo and Harden. Third team, you have Russ, Ja, KD, Nurkic, and LeBron on the stars. Here's all defensive first team with Anthony Davis on it. And all defensive second team. Now, Wenda, did Wendell Ward make all rookie first team? He did along with Luke Bishop. Let's go. We had two players make 
all rookie first team and Wendell Warren wasn't even that good this year he's definitely got a lot of room for improvement which is a good thing so we completed a bunch of tasks as you can see uh coming up which is pretty good it said we finished like below in my ticket sales I wonder where we could check that out I guess that would be under I guess it would definitely be under business I don't know I know you could ch uh, check jersey sales as we do have 88 number two I don't think we have anybody else in the top 25 yep uh pricing grabs you can't really look at league stuff there all right so we are taking on the Atlanta Hawks in round one we have playoff basketball back yeah I'll be messing with this rotation don't tell me no RJ Barrett's hurt are you kidding me can't can't decide which season of HBO's girls is the best oh my god he's got a twisted left knee you're kidding me but before we look at the injury report we'll check a look or take a look at the Hawks team who have Trey Young Kevin Herter Cam Reddish Larry Markkinen yeah, he's in Atlanta. He didn't have, like, a great season, but he was still okay. Keon Erickson, who was the 16th pick in the previous draft. He can actually shoot the ball. They have, they have DeAndre Hunter, Thomas Bryant, Michael Carter-Williams, Charles Brown, Dante Porter, Ryan Arkinagado, uh, David Nwaba, and John Collins, who looks like is hurt. Yeah, he's going to miss one or two weeks with a twisted left knee as well. So, yeah, RJ is day-to-day, -day, and Wendell Warren is also day-to-day. -day. Here were the stats to end the season. AD was our leading scorer. No surprise there. RJ... He ended up shooting 34 from 3. I mean, he did improve uh, from last year, from the field at least, but not from the line. Luke Bishop, man, he's good. He's really good, and I'm glad we were able to trade up for him to get him at 12. Wendell Warren will be our starting point guard next year for the foreseeable future, as long as we don't sign anybody, you know. Uh, Norman Powell, I'd like to bring him back, but I know he wanted to test for agency. Kelly Oubre, big trade candidate on draft night. He will most likely be moved. Um, hey, and we can maybe draft somebody in the top 10. Who knows? Uh, Mitchell Robinson, he will be a free agent, I believe. We'll see how much he's asking for in free agency. I'm guessing it's going to be a lot of money. Uh, then you have Ty Jerome, who I kind of like as a backup point guard. Nicole Melli, THT, Okogi, um, Matt Thomas, and then Raul Neto played a little bit. But yeah, that is going to be for me. I hope you guys did enjoy. Drop a look if you guys are excited for the playoffs in the next episode. Let me know if you guys just want to see one playoff series per video or you just want to see the whole playoffs in one video. Yeah, but let me know that in the comments below. Well, thank you all for watching. I love you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace. Remember, my career tomorrow. Don't worry.